Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here, and this is how to use Victory Bell. Victory Bell has like some very, very surprising stats when you look at it. Where does 105 and 100 base attack and special attack come from with a Pokemon like this? Why isn't it being used more? That's a pretty decent mixed sweeper right there that has a lot of coolness. And it also has some okay hit point bulks, not the best defenses, but I think its speed is what could be potentially holding it back. But there are actual ways of getting around it. I think Victory Bell is honestly very overlooked when you start getting into the strategies that you can run with this guy. Looking at its typing, you have Poison Grass, which gives you a lot of things that you'd expect by this point. You know, you have quite a crazy amount of resistances, quite a crazy amount of weaknesses. A lot of these things are things that we've been seeing a lot of, and we're going to continue to see a lot more of them. But, you know, it's just one of those things that when you see the typing and you look at what it's actually strong and weak against, it just makes a lot of sense. You're weak against flying, poison, psychic, and ice, but you have that resistances against the fighting, water, grass, electric, and fairy. Just cool to see all those colors start actually meaning something. Now when we hop into Pokemon Showdown, lots and lots of ways to run Victory Bell, which is incredibly surprising. And it is the first Pokemon to have Stockpile that we're reviewing right now. And this this is my happy move. Everyone that, that has been a fan of my channel for a while knows how highly I value Stockpile. Boost the user's defense and special defense by one, which means you're going to become a well-rounded tank with this little setup really fast. On top of that, you have Synthesis for health sustain. You are a poison type, so you can't get toxic, which is incredible for tanks. And then Swords Dance means that now you're going to be able to boost your attack by two once you get the stockpiles into Synthesis going, and you use Power Whip to do some huge damage to finish off your opponent. Now, the 85 accuracy, normally I do not like moves with, nine, with less than 90 accuracy, but I feel with Power Whip on a tanky Pokemon like this, it's not going to make or break too many games if you miss. It's just kind of, I missed, my opponent's going to do 10% of my health, let me take another swing at it again, something like that. Your item, you have a lot of item options here as well, you can go with the Citrus Berry. Uh, when doing a setup strategy like this, Citrus Berry is very strong because once you get knocked down below half, you might want to be going for that third stockpile or that second stockpile. Citrus Berry will push you up, be able to get that, and then you can use your, your synthesis better. So that burst health can really come through when you need it when you're trying to set up. On top of that, we also have Leftovers. Leftovers just being your amazing regular go-to tank item. You know, at the end of every turn, you get a 16th of your max health. It takes four turns to pay off the Citrus Berry. So this is if you want to go for that longer, more sustained, taking le or taking more risks by like having a weak uh, weakness. Uh, let me try to say this again. You take more risks by having weaknesses early, but your setup remains stronger later. That's how you, you go with this. On top of that, you know, you have a lot of cool things you can do here. Also, I was thinking you can just go for the Toxic Infestation combo. You don't have to use Swords Dance to boost your stats, and you don't need an offensive thing. So what you do is, you know, same stockpile idea, except you throw out a toxin, to Toxic when you can, you use Infestation to lock your opponent in, and then they're going to be losing a lot of their health and getting KO'd in three turns. I think that's what the math is on this. It's like three or four turns, and the opponent is automatically gone once you have both Toxic and, and Infestation. So I think including the setup, it's like four turns. It's 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 absurd what this uh, can do, just burning down your opponents. So before infestation wears off, it's already knocked them out. And then if you don't want to be that you know crazy tank stall battler, I, I favor it. You know you kind of have some uh, potential with that on the victory bell. Also, let's go and look at the EVs really quick before I transition. I was thinking you know your special defense is higher, so go with the careful nature, lower special attack since you're not well not with this one. This one would be lower your special attack, this one would be lower your attack so you want the calm nature since you do are technically getting a little extra damage off of that infestation on top of that I was thinking 222 in the hit points balancing out between the defenses and then just really trying to get that defense boost up if you can get into two stockpiles you're probably going to be able to out synthesis heal your opponent and from there you want to do that, wait let me check something yeah it gets morning sun they both have 8 pp I was wondering if I was like messing up and doing the weaker heal option but you only have 8 uh, heals with that with max uh, power points so make use of it make sure you get the most out of it and when you do you know you're able to outpace your opponent in heals and then outburn them down through stall it can be a very strong thing to have so now we have the usage right here is on the ability chlorophyll like if you really want to make victory spell victory bell strong it's actually not that hard. You can become an incredible mixed special attacker in one turn with huge with enough setup. That all you need is a Pokemon with Drought, pretty much Nine Tails, holding that uh, Heat Rock. That's going to give you eight turns of Sun. Nine Tails can set up in many ways by throwing out a Hypnosis or just kind of being some kind of sacrifice Pokemon. You bring in Victory Bell, and now you're going to go insane. Chlorophyll ability doubles your speed in Sun, so now you're going to have 
at level 100 to 460 speed and at level 50 your speed is also going to be incredibly fast almost nothing is going to naturally be able to outspeed you and then on top of that you have a good split for your attack and special attack now what this does is it sets up your focus sash you use focus sash and growth so or you use growth focus sash gets popped now you're going to have an untouchable speed now you're going to have double attack and special attack well when you look it says growth only boosts your attack and special attack by one but in sunny day it boosts both by two so now you're going to have an incredible amount of coverage and, a cre and an incredible amount of offenses that your attack is going to be over 300 your special attack is almost going to be at 300 at level 50 so that means 600 at level 100 with you know strong stab hits from leaf blade Solar Beam is going to be incredible because you still have the sun, and Weather Ball gets double power and becomes a fire type move. So you're going to get great coverage off of all this. Very strong, just very fast setup right there. On top of that, you can kind of go for the same idea. Instead of trying to use that uh, Focus Sash to take the one turn of setup, you can go with the Chlorophyll with the Sunny Day already set up into a Life Orb, and now you're just going to have you know a good amount of residual bulk trying to chip your opponents away with high base damage moves. Um, I just have Giga Drain here as a potential option. Solar Beam is better in pretty much almost every circumstance, but if you want to go for some extra sustain while relying on the coverage of Leaf Blade, you do have that. And Victory Bell also gets knockoff, so just a lot of things to consider when trying to build this Pokemon. Uh, here are some other moves that it gets that might be of benefit to you. You know, it has Body Slam for the Minimizers, it has Sludge Bomb, so that way you have that chance to poison your target and do that stab damage. Sucker Punch for the priority and extra damage, you know, the Sucker Punch one could work good on the growth instead of having Weather Ball, because you're going to be able to out outspeed your opponent through that priority and then just ruin their day. This is kind of the idea. And on top of that, we just have a couple other things. I'm trying to remember what I was going to do with this one. I guess it just kind of more shows what you can do um, with a scarf is what this one is. So you can go with the Choice Scarf Victory Bell if you don't want to set up the uh, weather. You know, you can get a good amount of speed. The scarf is going to put you in a high speed bracket. And then you can choose to be a special attacker or a physical attacker. I was thinking Giga Drain. That way you can just have, you know, be a good, reliable Pokemon for the sustain. On top of that, you can just go, you know, Choice Band Power Whip or no, Choice Scarf Power Whip under the uh, Adamant Nature with all that attack. There's a lot of things you can do with Victory Bell, but for the most part, you know, you stick with the growth, you stick with the stockpile, and in doubles, your options are pretty much in, in, incredible. That you set up that sunny day, and you have a fast attacker that can pretty much eliminate one Pokemon rather efficiently after getting just a quick Focus Sash set up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, and a lot of surprising usage for Victory Bell today. That's how you use Victory Bell.